I didn't realize the club because I didn't know enough about finance or situations. I was just looking to work in football and getting a, my first managerial job. And uh, when that happened, uh, I was only at the club weeks, actually. And uh, I got a call from the secretary, Jack Butterfield. He was a decent guy, worked very hard. And he said, Brian, he says, we're going to struggle to pay the wages this week. And that was, what do you mean? I mean, it was something that I'd never, ever come across before. Didn't know whether I, you know, would really understood it all. And I said, you know, because I, I had great respect for Harold Thomas, Mr. Thomas, as I called him. And I said, we need to speak to the chairman, see where it goes. So it was very early on because the, the directors I found were all, you know, they were all decent people who were, you know, very much uh, part of the, the structure of, of Tranmere. They wanted it to do well. Uh, I mean, people like Tony Adams and Fred Williams and Hart Jones and George Baird. I mean, they were all really behind the club and I knew they were doing their very best to do, to keep the club alive. And, and we got to the stage where that was, you know, really, really difficult. So I was really happy to work the best I could with them to try and keep the club alive. That was the most important thing to me because it was the club was bigger than the players and bigger than me. It was the it was the area. It was you know the I I think of uh, Jimmy Dockery, Jimmy Mooney, uh, Dave Patterson, Little John. You know all the supporters that we knew, and how important Tranmere was to them. So I mean I was prepared to try and join in uh, to the detriment of the team to try and keep the club alive. Now. In hindsight, would it do it differently now because I know a little bit more? Maybe. But the, the things we did at that time had to be done. That that was my understanding of it all. Because simply the bank were saying there's no money. The people who were in the on the board at that time had put in, I think, quite a bit of money into the football club. And it just something bigger had to happen. And that was when it all started changing. And uh Really, it was a survival issue then. And I remember first call I got was Derek Dugan. The Doug rang me and uh, he says, I think it was, I think of my memory serves me, it's a long time, it's a long time ago. But I think he was the first one on to say, we'll bring a team up to play and you keep all the funds, you know. And I thought that was an amazing gesture. Uh, I think it was Graham Hawkins was the manager at the time. Who's who's a, a is he a Chester boy? Graham, he's a nice lad. He came from our part of the world anyway, and uh, and they they brought a team and then it snowballed from there because then uh, Liverpool brought a team, Everton brought a team, uh, and then Manchester United, Ron Atkinson brought a team. So so basically, the the there was a story there because it looked as if. Tranmere could be the first team from, I think, was it Accrington Stanley? Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but the first team to go out of football type of thing. And that was, a, that was a little bit scary. It was scary for, you know, for everybody involved and especially for the people who worked in the club and the supporters. I've said this to everyone who was around during that era, but I find it absolutely amazing that those clubs made that offer and they came over and they played those mm. friendlies mm. because it wasn't just like they were putting the reserves out. They put out proper yeah. full teams, didn't they? And and there were proper matches and obviously the fans responded because they came and watched them now. But can you imagine that happening in this day and age? I mean, they don't even happen for pre-season friendlies because the, the clubs all go abroad and play somewhere else for more money. No, I've got to say at that time, Hard Candle, Kenny Daltleish, Ron Atkinson and the, the Wolverhampton Wonders Club were fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And as you say, they were proper games. And of course, our lads loved it because, I mean, they, they most of them were either Liverpool or Everton supporters. So this was fantastic. And of course, to play against Manchester United it wasn't such a hard chore. You know, but the, the, it, it did, as I say, uh, there was a lot of hardships and a lot of you know, sadness is about the situation, but there was an awful lot of great things happened. And yeah, I remember the atmosphere and I remember the players coming in and, and as I said, the Kenny and, and uh, 
Howard were just simply fantastic. They really, really joined in with it all. And uh, I always remember uh, uh, Graham Souness, something happened in the game. And, you know, he, he, he really let the players know how important it was, you know, so he wanted everything to go well. But it, it, it was an experience which I, I still think back on. And, you know, I was glad I shared in it. But uh, unfortunately, it was for, uh, you know, difficult times for the football club.